Watch Dogs 2 is a sandbox game all about choice. It's your world, it's your game, and it really urges you to do whatever you want to do. Here are nine things you probably didn't know you could do in Watch Dogs 2. Baz, if you want to. First up, we've got drone racing. You're going to want to practice this quite a bit because those drone missions themselves can be quite tricky and you're going to need all the experience you can get when you're piloting one of these little fellas. The race courses themselves look a lot like real world drone racing tracks and the high contrast neon bouncing off the waters of San Francisco's harbours really show off how nice the game can look under the right conditions. We recommend racing in first person, it just makes everything that much easier. The courses show off some of the more creative level design in the game, and we're told by the devs to expect a few drone puzzles knocking about here and there when the game launches as well. Baz, if you want to. Next, we've got the Driver San Francisco missions. You might recognise the name, it's another older Ubisoft game, and the missions we've played so far live up to the kind of missions you'd find in the last gen title. You can access all these missions through your smartphone, which will give you a waypoint to get to and start the mission up. We're told there are many different kinds of missions. The one we played tasked us with getting as much air as possible so a daredevil vlogger could upload another video and maybe, maybe, break that 1 million subscribers barrier. Baz, if you want to. If you get bored of all these missions that feel a bit too much like real work, you can always take a break and mix with the local San Fran flavour by harassing the locals. The game's emote wheel lets you dance, flirt, insult, greet, cheer or pacify passers-by and there's a slot that perhaps means we'll see more emotes in the main game too. Pedestrians may react well or not so well to your interactions, especially if you continually insult them. Fuck you! Fuck you! The emote wheel will be useful when you jump into the cooperative side of the game and need to quickly convey your pleasure or displeasure at your fellow gamers' actions. Yes. If not, it's useful just to troll people. Baz, if you want to. If the people of the city aren't entertaining enough for you, you can always start interacting with the dogs. We like how Marcus greets these little canine companions, he seems to really be on their level. We have no idea if there's any practical advantage to chatting to every dog you see, but it's impossible not to see one and say hi. We even tried to get photos with a few, but the pooches weren't as enthusiastic about that idea as us. Baz, if you want to. Once all your clothes start to smell of dog, you're gonna need to get dressed. Watch Dogs 2 totally lets you dress however you want, and there's quite a lot of choice too. Naturally, we opt to dress like the douchiest hipster around. We are in San Fran after all. But if that kind of apparel isn't your jam, there's much more conventional hacker gear knocking about if you can find it. Certain special items of clothing are hidden in caches around the city as well, so good luck sniffing them out. Baz, if you want to. Now that you're dressed like an idiot, you can start acting like one. All that practice with the drone earlier lets you see some real action. Both drones, the helicopter and the RC, can drop explosive charges at will. And when these are on the ground, you can make them bleep to attract the attention of nearby enemies. Or you can choose to put a proximity trigger on it, so it'll explode when someone's nearby. We much prefer to trigger it manually though, it's more satisfying that way. This is a useful tactic in missions if you want to keep Marcus out of harm's way, and it's also a useful technique for creating diversions for the police if you need to get around them. And don't forget about the RC drone, the little hopping thing might not have the utility of a flying device, but it can often reach places you can't. Remember that. Baz if you want to. If you're feeling proud of yourself after unleashing pure havoc on the unsuspecting city, you can take quick selfies of yourself with the chaos unfurling behind you. If you want a more practical application of the old selfie, seek out landmarks and snap pictures of yourself posing in front of them. This one that you follow us, and the more followers you have, the easier it's going to be to upgrade your abilities, and more missions will open up too. This follower count is persistent through the game, and it feels like a progression system that's continually rewarding you for doing anything in the world. It's a mechanic that means everything you do counts. And that's a great feeling in this kind of game. Baz, if you want to. When you're rushing from objective to objective, there's nothing more irritating than traffic getting in your way. You can still manipulate the traffic lights and various roadside bollards in Watch Dogs 2, but the new quick hack mechanic is by far the most useful highway tool. By simply hitting the left shoulder button while aiming at a car, you can cause the vehicle to veer violently to the left or right, opening up the road for yourself. It works on parked cars too, and really makes the vastly improved driving sections of Watch Dogs 2 more of an entertaining experience. Just try not to think about all the collateral damage. Baz, if you want to. Finally, one of our favourite hacks, calling the police on people. If someone in the street personally offends you, what better way of dealing with them is there than to have them arrested? One woman started to get all shirty with us after we got friendly with a dog. So a quick hack of her phone later and she's framed for murder. It doesn't matter that she's a volunteer at a soup kitchen, it's what she deserves. You can do this in missions too and bring the police into shootouts you've started and get your enemies arrested. If the police don't want to risk their lives taking out known criminals, don't worry, you can also frame gangsters as traitors to their fellow gangsters and get members of their own squad to come and hunt them out. Splendid. So there you have it, a small selection of the sort of madness you can get up to in Watch Dogs 2. We'll have more videos on the game coming out in the following weeks, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!